Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at the energy from the 15th through the 21st, 2021. Hope you guys are doing well. Ooh, what just fell out? Oh, the magician. All right, we'll keep that out. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if this one resonates for you, Leo, the link to the extended reading is below. Dive a little bit deeper and find out a little bit more. It's in the description box. If this one doesn't resonate, check out your moon or your rising sign. Okay, what's coming in for Leo in love? The 15th through the 21st of October. Let's do it. All right, Leo, let's see what's coming in for you. Hope you guys are having a good week. All right, coming into the current moment, what's the energy? Well, it's you. Right out of the gate, it's major arcana for Leo. It's the sun, there you go. What's the influence to that sun? It's the nine of cups. Woo, somebody's happy. What are you guys manifesting? Are you manifesting love, hopefully? I wonder if that card will burn up. Sorry about that outside noise, if there is any. They've decided to, you know, blow leaves or something right as I start their reading, of course. So what's on your mind, Leo? What's going through your thoughts? The King of Swords. Maybe it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What happened in the recent past? The Knight of Swords. More air energy. What's the reason for the reading? Why is everything happening? The Six of Swords. All right. What's coming into the near future? What will you experience? Leo, um, you again, it's your, guess what, other major arcana. It's the strength card, sign of Leo. And both of your majors here are in the upright, which mom here likes. All right, you're in your element. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The 10 of pentacles. All right, what's coming in from your environment that you don't see yet? The queen of pentacles. We've got a king and a queen of pentacles here. So usually when you have a king and a queen of the same suit, it's, you know, a partnership, a soulmate. This happened earlier with the Sag, was it Sagittarius? You'll have to check that out. But what, this happened today, earlier. What's going on in your emotions? The moon, Pisces energy, maybe Cancer. What's the outcome? What do we have here? The three of wands. There's your fire energy, Leo. All right, this looks like a badass reading. I said it, I meant it, and I'm not gonna take it back. It looks nice, all right. Let's start shuffling here and, and clarify this reading. I'm gonna use the Light Sears deck to clarify. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for me, if you will. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell and hit it to all notifications, or you may never be notified. It's hit or miss. So thank you, thank you. If y'all need a private reading, that's in the description box below too, with that uh, extended reading. All right, Leo, let's see what love looks like. Again, we're looking at the 15th through the 21st of October. Everything's happening because of the Six of Swords. You know, you could be moving on from someone, but I don't know. I kind of feel like this is just getting to a better place. Maybe if you were going through a hard time with someone or a hard time in love, you're moving on to a better place mentally. You're leaving some crap behind, maybe some drama with that Knight of Swords, we'll see. All right, let's do it. So coming in right now, we've got the sun. So there you are, there's your Leo energy with the Eight of Wands, wow. There's probably a lot of back and forth communication going on, it's heated, if you know what I mean. It's fast, there's a lot of it, and it's making you very happy. Remember, this could be predictive. Some of you are going through this and some haven't quite yet, so keep that in mind. But there's passion here and there's change and, and it's, a very healing, beautiful, positive energy. The influence is the Nine of Cups. Why is this here for Leo? The Two of Pentacles. You might be um, juggling to balance love in your life right now, or you will be. Could be very, very busy. Work, you know, some of you guys own a business or you're very, you are very focused on work here. But I think if not now, soon, you'll be trying to balance it all because you have somebody new or something is manifesting. You have a king of swords on your mind. Who is this king of swords for Leo? The eight of swords. Why is the king of swords with the eight of swords here for Leo? What's this about? The five of pentacles. Ooh, okay. Did y'all leave somebody behind and, some, and you've met someone new? 
you feel left out in the cold or that you're gonna have to choose to maybe leave one person and it's driving you a little bit crazy. You, you can't stop thinking about it. Tell me more about the King of Swords. And the Ten of Swords in reverse, yeah. And look at all the light. This reminds me of the Sun card. When this is in reverse, you're in recovery mode. That energy is still around, but it's much better than it was. So those of you that are feeling like you have to shut someone out or they shut you out and cut you off, you've been thinking about it a lot, you do feel a little bit trapped. But remember, the Six of Swords is here. You're moving on. I think a lot of you are going to meet someone new if you haven't already. There's recovery here with that Ten of Swords in reverse. In the past, you've got the Knight of Swords. What happened here? The Page of Pentacles. That Knight of Swords, you know, the Knights are coming, they're going. It's very fast energy. It can be quite impulsive. It can even really talk about energy, the energy of like something dramatic happening, you know, drama or fighting or being angry or something like that. Could have been with that Page of Pentacles, you know, you just friend zoned someone or, or they did. Yeah, and took off, Knight of Swords. Somebody may have even taken off through like a text message or an email or something shitty like that. It's all happening because of the Six of Swords. So what's this for here? What's this about for Leo? The Six of Swords, the Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're getting to a much better place. So those of you that feel a little bit trapped, shut out, you're just kind of thinking of this over and over, you feel trapped and stuck. It, you're going to get to a much better place soon. And for some of you, it's because you've met someone or, or you're going to be meeting someone. Not that that fixes the problem. I'm just saying this is what's happening. Walking away from drama and, you know, any type of arguments. What's this five of wands? Yeah, and the page of wands. And this is, there's your energy. Again, this indicates probably something new, messages coming in. It's almost like when you guys are going through a really hard time, somebody comes in and lifts your spirits. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Strength card. There you are, Leo. What's the Strength card? And the Seven of Swords. Resilience, overcoming obstacles of somebody. Maybe they ghosted. Maybe they took off with something of yours. Maybe they took off in the night or they lied or cheated or something like that. You're really overcoming that. And I think that a lot of you are kind of just taming yourself. This is very healing. Let me react to this in the right way type energy. What's the Seven of Swords? The Empress, Libra, Major Arcana. See, some, some of you have a Libra coming in. Some of you like left a Libra or this is, that was the hurt or something. But this is abundance and this is a new beginning in love that's, it's nurtured. Somebody finds you, will find you very attractive. You may even hold back from an, this newer connection that we see here. There's some communication, some passion, maybe somebody asking you out. They're going to be very attracted to you, but I don't think it's been too long since you've been through, you know, going through this kind of recovery. So just heads up on that. Right now you see yourself as the Ten of Pentacles. Why? And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you don't necessarily at this moment, or again, at times fluid, you kind of see yourself as coming and going, maybe, you know, concentrating on work with the Ten of Pentacles, concentrating on your stability for the future, making a nice home, being with your family, making good money, putting money away, trying to get a promotion, something like that. And it's because of the Knight of Wands. Now, this Knight of Wands, you know, could have played you or something like that. So you're more focused maybe on work. And the Two of Wands in reverse, you're not in any big hurry. You know, when it comes to a relationship or love, you're just, you're stashing that money away and really, really focusing on your stability and your future. Now, in your environment coming in that you don't see, you've got a queen of pentacles with the five of swords in reverse. And I think a lot of you, um, to kind of help you manage this that you've been going through, that you went through, again, you're really going to be focusing on nurturing yourself. Some of you have children, some of you are single parents. And with that Five of Swords in reverse, this is just like, nope, I'm not going to have. I think you're skeptical of a newer offer, somebody reaching out, communicating with you. You're a little bit skeptical of this because of what you've been through here. So a lot of you, again, will just kind of focus on your home and your career and your family. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you, keeping an eye on you. They may be waiting for you to get out of another connection, another relationship. 
Some of you um, within work, you're, you're studying something new, you're training or you're learning something and it's really helping you deal with, you know, maybe some sort of um, hurt that was caused here in love. In your emotions, you're feeling the moon. So you could be emotional right now, a little bit unsure, maybe even a little confused. What's this moon about? And the six of pentacles. Yeah, see, this to me is being a little bit skeptical because probably somebody was giving to somebody else or there was an imbalance in a prior relationship here. So now when these messages or this love offer comes in, you're going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit fearful, a little bit anxious. You know, are they hiding something from me? What's the Six of Pentacles about? Death. Yeah, because you've had to end something. You've also had to, you've had to end the way that you look at partnerships and love and people coming in to make you an offer. This is a complete change here with death, the way that you think about love, the, what you'll tolerate, what you, you know, won't tolerate. Why is death here? Scorpio energy and beautiful. There you are again, the sun major for Leo. The sun's coming out. You're having a lot of clarity here and happiness. And again, if you're not feeling that happiness and that healing positive energy, you will soon. There's something very beautiful coming in as far as career and money and that kind of thing as well. For some of you, it's a promotion or a lump sum of money, something like that, maybe even an inheritance or something. But, you know, as far as the current moment, you are going through that healing. And I think somebody reaches out or asks you out, you might be attracted to them. But you're, I think you're going to kind of go back and forth with this energy because you're going through such a big, huge transformation. Um, the outcome shows this three of wands. What's this about? And the fool. There's, that could be new love for sure. You got Aries energy there. I think you're going to kind of wait a little bit on this person. I do feel you'll be interested or you are interested and definitely attracted to this person. The outcome is typically a result of what you'll experience in the near future. So you're holding back here a little bit on this newer communication or offer, and it's because of probably the, the deception that you've experienced in the past. But whomever this you know, newer energy is, they're going to find you very attractive. They're going to want to nurture. There is the energy of having a new beginning here if you want it. It could take off. You'll be focused on work here. Some of you found out this recovery that you're going through was because somebody had somebody else. So you're really stu gonna study up on a newer connection, somebody that's reaching out to you or again, asking you out. And I think that they're kind of watching you as well, watching and waiting almost. But again, the outcome will show probably pausing a little bit to really inspect, kind of just waiting for this to manifest, looking out and making sure, you know, that you want to dive into this. And a lot of you will. You're like, hell, sure. Let me just do it. The fool, you know, take a risk. What's this fool energy, Aries energy and the hermit? I think a lot of you will take a risk, whether that's kind of this communication going back and forth, or maybe you will accept their offer. Grab a drink, grab a Ben and Jerry's, who knows? And I think you're really going to be looking into this. It, you know, that hermit Virgo energy is very cautious, very slow. And it's because the hermit has really gained a lot of wisdom through prior history here. So you're going to kind of pull away a little bit. You're going to like really look into this. You may even be looking them up online or investigating that kind of thing. Why the hermit with that fool? The wheel of fortune. Change is coming. I feel like this newer offer is different. I don't think they're like the rest, you know? I feel like the uh, universe will be pushing you towards this, if nothing else, just to kind of get out there and continue your growth and your healing. It's this wheel bringing and the queen of cups in reverse. You're going to be on guard though with your emotions, right? I don't think, I think this person will be a little more into you than you're into them because I think you are still doing some healing. It's going to start speeding up that healing process, but I think you might be a little bit closed off with your emotions. You probably weren't expecting this kind of um, connection or you won't be when it happens. So you just kind of take a step back. It's very inquisitive, very wise energy, very much. Let me kind of pull away and really look into this. I, again, you're either kind of going to be looking into them or they're going to be looking into you. Somebody's watching somebody here. 
And it's because it's like, mm -mm, I don't want any mind games here. I've, I've done that. Bottom of the deck, I wanted to look. You do have the Six of Wands. That's your card, Leo. Again, somebody finding you very, very attractive. And I do feel like there's a connection here that you know will be successful, if for nothing else, to kind of keep you moving in, in your path and on your journey here. I would take the offer. You never know. You might go out, go out to an outdoor restaurant or some shit like that with the Four of Wands. This is happiness and joy and celebration. It's a very positive reading. I actually love this reading. In the extended reading, we'll take a look at this energy and see how they will react to you kind of, you know, being a little bit slow maybe to move forward with them. We're going to see what's on their mind, how they really feel about you, and what they're going to do in response to you. All right, Leo, I will see y'all over on the extended. I love you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.